So last night, I, I guess not after I got home, a little while before I got home, uh, this actually came in the mail last night. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad X one six one thirty one E, and um, I got this on eBay because I wasn't sure if it worked. Um, it was listed as four parts are not working, and I was like, I can maybe fix this, or um, at worst, just completely parts it and use it to fix other computers. But um, because there are multiple models of this, and uh, this is actually a Chrome OS one, but they're all exactly the same inside, so you could uninstall Chrome OS and actually, uh, you know, put a real operating system on here if you wanted to. Sorry, Chrome. But um, the, the interesting thing about this, because when they put Chrome OS in this thing, they literally took the Intel and AMD versions of this um, computer and just straight up shoved a uh, Chrome OS distribution in there. Because as you'll notice, is one thing in particular for like Chromebook keyboards is that they're very... Um, they're all pretty much exactly the same, except for this one. This one is completely different. This is a very standard keyboard. Like, I mean, we, they replaced the Windows key with the search key here, but your caps lock is here, because if you look at a regular Chromebook, the other one is around somewhere, I think in my bag. Uh, you'll notice that there's like a scroll lock here, and I mean, they, they re-lettered all these keyboards, but all these keys, but it's really the same layout as they had on like the Windows version of this. And yes, this actually has an Intel processor, unlike the uh, the other Samsung Chromebook, which has that ARM processor. So I could theoretically install a real operating system, um, but this does work. It completely works. The one thing that was wrong with it was that the RAM stick is was slightly out of place. But, um, yeah, so that was a quick fix. But I also realized that uh, I had, oh, that monitor is not great for, for camera. I had an 8 gig stick lying around. So there's two memory banks in here. They both had a 2 gig stick in it originally. And one of them either was slightly misplaced or not working. And I didn't even care because I straight up had another piece of DDR3 204 uh, pin RAM. And I just shoved it in that lead slot. And now I have 10 gigs of RAM in a Chromebook. Why you would ever want that, I have no fucking idea. But, um, well, it exists. Because that was literally the only thing wrong with this PC. Everything else is perfectly fine. I mean, I've been testing it for a little while. As you can see, I was... There's a giant ass hair on the screen. I was listening to a little Glenn Fry earlier, and my daily SEPTA Wikipedia pages. Um, normal, no, normal stuff uh, that I use internet browsers for. And um, yeah, it's it's working perfectly fine. And no, it does not look that way on on uh, my actual screen, like with the the weird refresh lines and things. It's 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 uh, perfectly fine. That's a that's a camera artifact because this is an older display. It's an older computer. It's got an 877 in it, Celeron. So yeah, it's it's definitely older, but. Um, you know, could easily throw uh, an operating system on it. Just need to actually put a hard drive in here because, as I mentioned, this chassis is um, basically just a, um, a Chrome OS version of the regular thing. So this plate under here is removable, as I turned out, as I turned it over to say earlier. I can't. So and there is a hard drive bay in here, and yes, it has all the screws in it. So I could actually, um, you know, this is actually upgradable, unlike most Chromebooks, so I just need to basically figure out how to turn on dev mode and then I can actually, you know, set it to boot from a hard drive and install a hard drive that has probably Linux on it. But, um, I'm excited. This thing also has a ton of ports. It's also heavy as fuck, too, for a Chromebook. I mean, look at that. That's a USB 2, which has eternal power. That's a Kennington lock of power thing in the middle. That's a giant power connector, by the way. Um... Especially compared to the old Chromebook, which has one of the thinnest power connectors I've ever seen. That's fat as fuck. Um, HDMI SD. In a regular SD card slot, too. Not like the uh, the micro one, like the, uh, the Chromebook 2 that I have is. That's upside down. But that's a um, VGA connector. Also a rarity, but not something I ever see most people using. Two, three, USB 3s. Very nice. An Ethernet port. Which is kind of something odd you'd you probably wouldn't generally find in a... Wi-Fi Chromebook, but again, it's taken from, uh, it's taken from the, uh, the regular models, and then, uh, I went with combo jacks for headphones and 
headsets and things with a mic. But, um, yeah, so this is, this is actually pretty interesting. <coughs> we, could, we could completely just throw a real OS on here, though. And one thing I found that was interesting about this, actually, is that there's a, this little diamond key here in the corner, which I guess was um, probably an FN key on the... Um, on the original model, I don't have a, um, a regular non, uh, non chrome OS model, so I can't tell. And there's also a keyboard thing over here. But as far as I can tell, this diamond key is recognized down here. But it basically, I'm pressing it right now, and it just acts as a control, both in terms of what the keyboard menu shows and, um, like, because so I can press control and they do the exact same thing. And it also lets me, as you'll see, it, all the keyboard commands work exactly the same. So you can use that in place of a control. So it's basically one long control button that has a division in it for no reason. This keyboard button literally just pulls up a keyboard list of shortcuts. It's generally one of the most useless keys I've seen on a keyboard. Oh my god, it's hot as fuck out here. Um, I'm going to just be loud so you can hear me over the air conditioner which is starting up, which is why I'm rolling the windows down in the meantime to help come get some of this heat out. Hi, today, 88 degrees. And, uh, yeah, that's too away from 90. That's too away from heat wave potential. It's pretty fucking hot out. I don't think that's an understatement. Also, hello, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday. No, it's not Wednesday. It's Thursday. Okay. Can we stop having cars come out of nowhere? That would be great. Because I need to get to the fucking train station. It is 2.34 as I run the camera into the, uh, into the blowing wind. So I'm sure you didn't hear that. 2.34. Train comes at 2.54. So we've got to get to the train station. We've got to get the fuck out. Um... Directing final today. Monopod and tripod, if you can see that. I don't even know what you just saw. If anything, we're in the back there. That's why we're doing hand handheld today, because I need to take them with me, and I can't have it set up in the car. All right, so got them down. Uh, we're filming it on the vlog camera because, um, well, I think the vlog camera actually does a pretty decent job. This way, I don't have to mess with settings. I can just press button, record. Uh, but pretty much exactly what I do um, on a daily basis. Also, I would like. I mean, I would have liked to do a like full out production for this. But I can't, for the life of me, uh, even bear to think about when I'll have time to edit that right now. Because, um, well, we're, we're pretty much in a fucking mess right now. Um, as it is with the vlogs being so far behind and, and me having to do an audio post final. I mean, again, as I said yesterday, if I can make it through to Wednesday, I'm fine. But so, yeah, I'm just going to be cutting it from vlog camera footage. And I have a, the monopod and tripod with me to be able to do just that. We're going to use onboard audio which kills me as a sound guy, but I'm not planning to do much, if any, sound editing on this. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what's gonna happen. So we're gonna go film that. I have a fresh SD card. My battery is uh, apparently fully charged. It actually managed to just barely fully charge before I, uh, I headed out, but I have the charger with me anyway. Uh, this card is a vlog card. I have, a th I have my other 32, 32 gig card that I uh, sometimes use for the vlog in my, uh, my bag. So we have that. This card has uh, this card only has 19 minutes on it. So uh, we just have to not uh, <laughs> vlog everything today. But I mean, we can switch to the card. Of course, this is a fucking school zone. Why would it not be a fucking school zone right now? Um, the air is on. I can actually put the windows up. Anyway, stuff that happened this morning, other than um, that, with the the um, not the netbook, the, um, the Chromebook, which it is a Chromebook for the moment still. I, would like to install Linux on it at some point, but I do not know when I will have that time. Um, so yeah, that happened this morning. Let me actually, it's gonna kill me to do this, but I need to turn that fan down a little bit so that you can be able to hear me so that I can stop fucking screaming at the top of my lungs. Um, so another thing that happened, we actually had to run and get the van fixed this morning because the brakes like went. So that happened this morning. My mom apparently dropped that off at some point before I left and um, I drove her back down at some point, we got the van, because we had to get it fixed, because Liz's narrative is, uh, well, starting tomorrow, essentially, with gear, because it is Thursday, not Wednesday, like I previously said, uh, uh, how many times do I fuck up that day of the week thing, because it seems like it's a million fucking times, um, anyway, yeah, so Liz's narrative starts tomorrow, there's a million things on my plate, Celise, the uh, internship coordinator that I briefly talked about yesterday, called me this morning, so, um, yeah, I've got to, I've got to do that, I've got to revise a cover letter, and uh, apply to another internship because shit's gotta go down. I don't know what the fuck happened on this road, but that's a fucking crate. Um, there's a crate in the middle of the road. It's all smashed up. Yep, normal, normal stuff here, I guess. Um, 
so yeah, we're gonna go down the film that. I actually did manage to get one vlog done today in addition to that, because it was, it was actually something that I'd basically picture locked um, the other day, and then I just needed to, to sync all the audio and, uh, and title it, and I was done. So that vlog is up now. I've started working, because that's now the day before Robert got the April 29th one, so that is up, so we're up to April 30th now, and that one I have started cutting the, uh, the Robert Cop vlog, but it's not done yet. Um, hopefully, 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 depending on what time I can, I can get out of there, I'd like to get that one in today, because I'd still like to keep the two-a-day thing going, if at all possible, even though I haven't been lately, just to just slowly but surely make some progress, because the more vlogs I can get done, the less behind we are. Um, so just, I just really got to get it done. But I don't want to work on any more than that. If I have more time after that, somehow I'm going to work on actually bringing everything into Adobe Audition so I can start post sound on uh, on that or cut up. Well, I have a couple of things to cut up actually for for class related things because um, actually that vlog that went up, the April 29th vlog, also has some footage in there from. But that vlog, the April 29th vlog, also has footage from one of the rehearsals, and I have three rehearsals that I actually need to uh, to cut down and send to Allison my directing professor so that she has them, which is just funny that I, that's now going to be happening on the same band today, so I have to cut them down. Of course, all the audio post stuff uh, needs to happen, and fun times galore, essentially. Um, you know, we're, we're getting things done, we're getting ready, but I need to make it through today. This is the day to film the thing. If anything goes wrong, we're just gonna make of it what we have, and, um, well, gotta get going, which is don't have time for any of this. Oh, my poor soul. <laughs> Camera comes on, all of a sudden she's an angel. Yeah, it's, it's, she's good the second she hears the shutter happen. Mm -hmm. Now she's fine. Oh, I know there's a box. You can't fit in this box, though. If she fits, she sits. Uh-huh. I found my director final. We're okay. in Athena's apartment now. So, sit. <gasps> oh, is it good? She's no. Like, no. She's like, I want to kiss your arm. No. There you go. All right. I know I said I was only going to do probably one vlog today, but I actually wound up getting three done. But that's okay, because that's the one for today, or the extra one for today, and the two for tomorrow, even though it's officially tomorrow now. Um, a little after one in the morning. Still have to be up in a couple hours to go to class, but, you know, whatever. I've got, I'm getting stuff on. Let me actually turn the, the jet engine on. There we go. Um, yeah, so that's rendering now. And then after that's done rendering, I have to um, dump some cards. That's rattling. I need to go fix that. But, um, yeah, that's, so this card, because it's nearly full with only 14 minutes left. And then I have to go dump this card right here, which is usually number vlog card number three, but it's not on vlog duty from the moment because it's holding data from the directing to the screen. But, um, yeah, that's three days. We're actually into May now, so making uh, making decent progress here. That's also, that date number is wrong, I think. It's 523, even though it's 526. Date. And yeah, that's officially full. And then here's my directing for the screen final. And um, I get to also say that these next three are edited. That's what this column is and that this is published and they'll all be publishing tomorrow. But um, yeah. So, now I get to go finish doing all of this work. Alright, cutting it off. See you guys tomorrow.